Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala syarafil anbiya Ibn Mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahabi ajma'in Alhamdulillah We still continue with our coaching Growth model As I mentioned to you G is for goals Setting R is for reality check O is for option and obstacles W is for will Free will and way forward T is for tactics and tools And H is for habits So we are discussing on tactics in terms of the tools and tactics that we are going to use and I have brought this back idea of the nature of Islamic psychology or the psyche of Muslim is that we are a spiritual being that means our vertical plane of our spiritual, emotional and mental realm alright our raw cup and akal that is integrated within our psyche is built in uh, together with physicality but we're not saying that's inside or outside uh. this one later on we can understand from the perspective of Islamic metaphysics the Ash'ari school and the Muturidi school uh, you don't have to worry about that but basically what we are saying is that our roh, kalp and akal they are one but they are functionality All right. even our jasad is within this framework because if you go backward into the nature of even our physicality it is a, a jauhar or an atom uh, which has no point and uh, and so on uh. so this this is explained very deeply in terms of uh, the metaphysics of Islam and so on but we, we are not dwelling into that we are dwelling only from the psychological application of this understanding of the nature of the human self in so far as how we're going to improve uh, ourselves in this world and achieve the greatest of success in this world and the hereafter so our horizontal plane always situation or circumstances is affected by what is affected by local control so we have two local control our situation and circumstances can be affected whether it's external local control or internal local control and then it will trigger the situation will trigger thoughts all right these thoughts will then trigger our emotion and this emotion will trigger feelings and these feelings will then trigger action and this action will trigger result so it is the acronym s-t-e-f-a-r staff far eh? remember this because in our coaching methodology we are using the staff far method this is at the physical plane but along the way as you are progressing in terms of the human psyche islamic understanding we get feelings from the realm of intuition because our consciousness come from where suddenly a thought come oh i can solve this problem you say where does it come from oh i remember this will solve my problem so we, from the rim of the intuition the consciousness comes from at a higher level this is the feelings emotions uh, from the raw the cut and akal integrating giving you feedback so that feedback is actually affecting at every level your thoughts your emotion your feelings at the physical level so your physical level is one dimension uh, that we are harnessing because that is closest to us in the sense that we can realize in front of us okay so that's why it's easy for us to take this situation as our model s t e f a r stefar realizing that actually from the islamic perspective we have the rim of uh, the raw the cut and akal and from there comes intuition firasat it also comes uh, within the understanding ilham from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from that realm so Allah showers this interconnectedness of the human psyche in so far as we have this consciousness uh, the integrated self and the positive inner speech coming from this realm uh, coming down to our physical thoughts, emotion and feelings that will affect our action our result and how we become successful or failure in life all right that will give you a basic mechanism but i'm going to take this as a basis for a future understanding of the tools that you can use in terms of the stefa tool in terms of how you can relate these tactics or tools to your coachy somebody who's having a problem uh, so i will show you how you go about with it but today i'm going to take you about the local control in psychology we know we have this internal or external local control those who have a situation normally the situation is bad for example if they have a bad situation they would they would say the external people would say 
Oh, I fail because somebody sabotaged me. It's external. That means his local control is not because of himself, but somebody else. Or I, uh, I become bad because, you know, my friends were bad. You know, so it is always external. So they do not accept the internal challenges that they face. So everything is blaming on others. They are always blaming on others, but not on themselves. So you have a lot of people that everything is external to them oh the world is unfair i i do not succeed in business because the world is unfair or oh, because the rich take all the money and i'm poor so i have no money or whatever it is that you have uh, at the various level uh, so you can see that if you are living with externalities that means you have your external uh, situation in which it affects your way of approaching a situation then you have very little way out because you do not internalize the need for you to have this internal local of control what is a league person with internal local of control you understand that your situation is basically your thoughts emotion and feelings that is causing your action as a reaction to your situation and the result that you get a failure or difficulties or no job or addiction or whatever it is has to do with your, with your internal loci of control and it is combined eh? that means we are not saying that it's all internal in this dunya you are affected both the external environment and the internal environment your internal environment is your interpersonal and intrapersonal environment in terms of our model here you can see this in terms of the environment that's affecting you there's a whole chapter on this model you can go back to this positive stomach psychology model uh, in this book inshallah when we download study this as your uh, uh, material in terms of understanding the whole idea of positive islamic psychology and the whole idea of actually holistic psychology which we will be uh, coming uh, most psychologists are coming towards because now they are accepting the problem or the challenge of what is the mind okay what is consciousness and where it is coming from so they are all grasping grasping here grasping there but they have no metaphysics we have a structure we have this understanding of the roh the cup and the akal and how it affects us so local control is very important for us to help somebody you must shift that person from blaming others to accepting their reality and accepting the reality then they can draw on upon their internal capability all right and then applying this whole idea of how they see the circumstances or the situation how they can then mold their thoughts their emotion feelings and how the action can be either positive or negative and then how the result can be positive or negative i'll give you uh, a number of uh, examples uh, inshallah in the next video so that you know this is ste s-t-e-f-r stefa you and your stefa you can then you don't need to write down you can you, you can make a format a form of stefa form but as you master the word stefa you can ask oh this is situation this is thought this is emotion this is feelings this is action this is result and then as you approach your coach to resolve their addiction problem or their problem in marriage or their problems in terms of schooling or their problems in terms of trauma uh, whether it is all the whole spectrum of psychological problems of anxiety depression suicidal tendencies and so on you can use this tool very very powerful very simple just remember s-t-e-f-r but remember when you analyze the situation and condition find out first in terms of the situation whether that person is always blaming others or have accepted the fact that there is this internal deficiencies within themselves that they have to take cognizance of and then try to mold towards a positive integrated self in terms of positive inner speech and remember Allah is always with you. God is always with you. From the realm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He shower us His ghafurul wadud, His forgiveness and His love all the time. And we are receiving the input, the positive good input of positive good consciousness and nature of uh, ilham and firasat, which every human being is open to. And when you understand that, you can rely on Allah to help solve all your problems at the physical plane and then we can understand how we can be uh, a fruitful servant, a good servant of Allah 
uh, always striving to be his caliph on this earth, always striving to make ourselves good, helping others to be good and making the world good, inshallah.